Hey, hey, what is up, you fishing fools? Jim Walsh coming to you from Walsh Hall Custom Bait Studios. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about an issue that you could possibly have with your UV coating. Um, in case you don't know, if you're a newbie, and this is kind of for newbies, uh, a UV clear coat is basically a clear coat you put on your lure. You can paint it, you can dip it, whatever, and you cure it with a light source, with a UV light source. And there are a few drawbacks to that, but man, I've I've used just about any kind of clear coat you can think of. Um, and as far as a balance between durability and the speed at which I can get stuff out, because I have a lot of lures going out of the door, I like the UV clear coat because, man, I can put it in there, bam, hit it with the light and, and get it gone. Um, but if you use a UV clear coat, um, you know, you can, there are some issues that can arrive. It's, it's not perfect. Um, I will tell you this, my preference, if I was setting up a box, you have to have a light source. If I was setting up a box or using a nail dryer or whatever you're doing, depending on the, the scale that you're doing it, um, make sure that that light source is 365 nanometers. To me, that's the sweet spot. Um, it, it cures your lure, lures good at that one. So one of the issues you can have if you're doing this sooner or later, whatever brand UV coat you're using, sooner or later, you're gonna get a batch that when you put your lure in there and you cure it, it's gonna come out and it's gonna feel a little tacky. And then man, you're freaking out. You're like, I've spent all this time painting this lure and now, now it's ruined at the end. You can save it and I can tell you. Now, if your light source is right and everything else is good and you've cured it for a proper amount of time, sometimes you'll get it. Like I said, if you're having this issue, it just feels tacky. Um, so basically the, the clear coat underneath is going to be cured, but, but the top just doesn't completely cure. And I'm not even going to get into why, because it has a lot to do with oxygen. But anyway, if you do get a lure that's a little bit tacky, and I'm not talking about dripping, if you got a lure that's dripping and just goopy, you've got another issue. But if you just get a lure and it feels a little bit tacky and you're like, man, I can't sell this to people and i mean it's because it, when they get tacky like that they'll catch lint and everything else and they'll look like crap so if you have that issue and sooner or later you'll probably ha have it if you do it long enough um don't stress about it just make sure you got you some 91 percent rubbing alcohol on hand and again this is not for other issues like if you're having a light sort of issue and that kind of stuff and it's dripping this is strictly if you're doing this lure you know everything's right and sometimes they just feel like they're not cured and they're a little bit tacky or sticky. Man, just take your 91% uh, rubbing alcohol, put a little bit on a paper towel, wipe that lure down. Get that tackiness off with that alcohol. Just rub it down really good. Um, doesn't take long to, to dry because the alcohol evaporates. So just set it down, leave it for a minute or two, come back if it feels tacky. Man, wipe it down again, and that will get the tack off of that lure. So that way, man, you're not having to throw that lure away or having to start over or whatever. Um, you can save it, and it nothing wrong with it. You've just got that tackiness off of it. Man, it's still durable, ready to go. <laughs> so, anyway, Walsh Hall Custom Baits, baby, get you some.